Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, for those that are asking about Windows 11 minimum requirements um, some interesting things are happening that are giving hints that you know the CPU limit you know where Microsoft is actually saying eighth generation or later Intel CPU and so on one of the indications that this might change and it's uh, coming from uh, Asus that actually has updated uh, some BIOS or UEFI firmware on motherboards that actually do not have a generation they have sixth or seventh generation Intel CPUs and they actually have TPM 2.0 and what they did is they actually updated the BIOS for these to enable TPM which was turned off turning technically these motherboards into compatible Windows 11 boards so they call them Windows 11 ready now we know that Microsoft has still hasn't changed anything and has said 8th generation or later but if it was such in you know uh, cut in stone why do the manufacturers update these motherboards that are not a generation they're sixth or seventh generation are they having a hint by microsoft that yeah well we'll enable sixth and seventh generation cpus also in windows 11 because if they have the trusted platform module chip starting with generation six why not it actually works well for security and for the most part, these 6th and 7th generation, a lot of them are still very powerful and powerful enough to run Windows 11. So this is interesting. And we've seen other manufacturers, Intel. Um, we've seen also um, some uh, other board, motherboard makers like Gigabyte actually dabble into a firmware update. Uh, for the BIOS that enables TPM 2.0 to make them compatible. So let's cross our fingers. Um, I think this is a step in the, the right direction where it's actually telling you, yeah, yeah these are going to work. They're going to be okay. So that would leave only the TPM or Trusted Platform Module to be a limit for motherboards. I honestly don't have too much problem with that. People that complain that TPM should not be a limit. I don't agree because it has to do with security. And if, you know, we need everything we need in security, especially when people tell me, well, you know, why should a user at home need security with TPM and blah, blah, blah. This is not something you're going to have to, you know, think about and work with. It's going to be there. It's going to be implemented. And if you do banking on your computer, you want all the security you need. I say it all the time. You do banking, you have tons of accounts that you go through, you check your credit card stuff. Uh, you need security. And TPM, I think, is a, uh, is a good requirement, a good minimum requirement. But if they push it to 7th and 6th generation, that could be interesting. So let's keep an eye on that because I don't think these manufacturers are actually pushing this change um just thinking that maybe it's gonna work i think they're pushing pushing this change because they know that microsoft will issue more relaxed rules for the minimum requirements if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching